So last night, after much anticipation and a ton of terrible mock-ups, we finally got to see our first look at the Tesla Cybertruck. And it was interesting to say the least. Doesn't look like anything else. <laughs> when this thing first rolled out on stage, I really was not a fan of the design. It looked really sharp, had a lot of angular features that we aren't used to seeing on Tesla vehicles, are usually a lot smoother, a little more refined. This thing was very raw and boxy. I mean, Tesla vehicles do all kind of have their own unique look, but you can tell that they're a Tesla vehicle. This thing is just a complete outlier from those other vehicles. But after a few minutes of seeing this thing on stage, the design did start to grow on me a little bit. I think we all have this preconceived notion of what a truck should look like and how it should behave, but this thing just threw all of that out the window. And honestly, I think one of the main things throwing a lot of people is that this thing literally looks like a triangle. It doesn't look like a typical truck. Uh, but I tried my best in Photoshop to basically remove that rear panel above the rear wheel. And I think it makes it look a lot more like a pickup truck. And if they went with something more along these lines, I think it would have gone over a lot better. And this design is not for everyone, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Tesla has a history of pushing the envelope when it comes to design. And nothing really gets innovated and nothing really changes if you try to stick with the typical designs and just copy everybody else. And I think Tesla definitely hit the mark there. Nobody was expecting a truck that looks like this. But design aside, let's talk about these specs because they are incredible. So we have three trims of this truck and those are the single motor, the dual motor, and the tri-motor. The tri-motor probably gonna be similar to the Plaid powertrain. So the single motor has a predicted range of 250 miles with zero to 60 in under six and a half seconds, towing capacity of 7,500 pounds, this version starts at $39,900, roughly the same price as the SR Plus, uh, the Model 3, and that is just incredible that they're able to release a truck that cheap. The dual motor, on the other hand, has a predicted range of 300 miles with zero to 60 in under four and a half seconds, towing capacity of 10,000 pounds. This trim starts at $49,900, very comparable to the dual motor Model 3, and I think this will be the most popular trim because anybody buying a truck will want that extra range as well as the additional towing capacity. Plus you get two motors instead of one. The tri-motor is where things just get ridiculous. It has a predicted range of 500 miles, zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds and a towing capacity of over 14,000 pounds. So Elon has stayed true to his word here that this truck can beat the F-150 in towing capacity and it beats a Porsche 911 in a straight line. All trucks are built with this stainless steel exoskeleton, which is extremely strong. And they actually showed this off by letting Franz, the chief designer at Tesla, whack this thing with a hammer and it did not leave a scratch. That demo went fine, but when Tesla wanted to demo the glass that is on the vehicle, they were calling this armor glass, it didn't go so well. Sure? Yeah. Oh my. Good. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> they did say that this glass is mildly bulletproof and unfortunately it just fell short at, during the actual demo. And I think that's because they had been throwing things at this all day. Elon said on Twitter they had been practicing this event. They had been throwing that same ball at it all day and it wasn't broken. But I think just over time it built up some micro cracks. Unfortunately, that just completely broke when it was on stage. So the truck bed is probably the most unique thing about this truck besides the design overall. And Tesla is calling this part of the truck the vault. And it's got this fancy roll up cover that auto retracts into the bed of the truck and has over 100 cubic feet of storage. Elon also said on Twitter that they are planning on adding a solar version of this retractable roof and that will be able to add up to 15 miles of range a day or even more. Inside the bed, there are both 120 and 240 volt outlets, which is huge because you can power basically any tool you're trying to run if you've got this out on a job site. It can also act as a backup home generator and it could also charge other Tesla vehicles because it's got a standard plug on there. 
you'll be able to plug in a vehicle or any other thing you wanna charge. There's also a built-in air compressor which taps into the existing air suspension system which raises and lowers depending on what you are hauling and it can help you actually load things into the bed of the truck. The interior seat six, you can fit three up front with a bench seat and three in the back. Just from the pictures I've seen and the videos, it looks like this thing is huge, has a ton of room on the inside and they're keeping it similar to the Model 3 with the single horizontal display on the inside. They also aren't using mirrors on this car. If you look, take a closer look at the pictures, there are no side mirrors. And from some videos I've seen of people at the event, the rear view mirror is just a screen with a camera pointing out the back. So you just use that to look behind you. I've used something similar to this in the Chevy Bolts and honestly, I was not a fan of it. I just didn't like the fact that I was looking through a camera. I wasn't looking at what was actually on the road. Uh, just because the resolution isn't as high, you've got a little bit of lag. So I ended up turning that off basically immediately when I was driving the Chevy Bolt. And hopefully you have that option here because there is a small rear window uh, that you should be able to see out of just fine with a regular rear view mirror. It would be nice if they were able to use these cameras to also create a 360 degree visualization of what's around you. I know other car companies have done that. Uh, I'm sure Tesla could add it in a software update, but that would make maneuvering, especially if you're hauling a trailer or something like that, much easier. As for accessories for this truck, Tesla did surprise us and they built an ATV as well. Uh, so they rolled that out on stage. That thing looks awesome. Uh, we didn't hear any specs about it, uh, but Elon did take to Twitter after the event and said it would be available as an option for the Cybertruck to start and I'm assuming they'll probably sell it separately as well. They also have a tent and kitchen attachment that will likely be sold as an accessory. Uh, so you've got some camping options there as well. But overall, this thing is a very polarizing vehicle. Everybody I've talked to or seen on Twitter, people either love it or they hate it. I am still making up my mind about it, but I am leaning uh, towards liking the vehicle. I think it's just so unique and different, but uh, it still has a very aggressive and new design that will take some getting used to. I'm not a truck guy, so I don't plan on purchasing one, but if you look at this thing from a usability and durability standpoint, and then throw in the price, this is a very impressive vehicle. Just the fact that they're able to pack all of these specs and performance into a sub $40,000 truck is quite the feat. We also need to keep in mind that this is just the prototype. Tesla may tweak things when they enter production, may find out that things aren't gonna work for actual manufacturability and other things, so the design may change in the future. This thing is slated to go into production in late 2021, so we've got a little bit of time. Uh, the tri-motor version won't be in production until 2022, so even more time there. If you do wanna be first in line to get one of these trucks, you can go ahead and place a $100 pre-order on their website. This just kinda saves your spot in line right now you're still gonna be waiting a while for this truck. So those are kind of my initial thoughts and reaction to the truck. I wanna hear what you think as well, so definitely let me know down in the comments if you haven't already expressed your beliefs on social media. As always, thanks for watching, and if you tuned into my live stream last night, I'd really do appreciate it. If you didn't hear last night, I'm going to be doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway of a Tesla sweatshirt. So if you wanna get in on that, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos and you get notified about that giveaway. I've also got some Model 3 videos coming up soon because I just purchased the car. So lots of exciting content coming to the channel. So make sure you are here to see it all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh.